Hi folks, just catching up as we normally do with a few of the items out of our latest monthly council meeting. And one that I know will interest a lot of people is where we're going next with the WTF, what's the future? Remember that community night we had with so many people wanting to be part of what's Wyla going to look like in say 2040? Council has endorsed a program, it's going to be very tight timeline to have it all up and running and finished by around about October this year. There will be a lot of workshops. Just to give you an idea of what the community is concerned and interested about, housing, tourism, education, health services, sport, leisure and recreation, young people, diversification of industry, jobs and business, the environment and sustainability, security and safety, community and social services, diversity, aged care, the bungalow people, and a range of other issues. A fantastic list to work with. If you go and check the agenda, you will see the program. Council will now be the facilitator because this isn't a council plan, it's the community plan that will ultimately be adopted. There'll be workshops, there will be people targeted to become involved in focus groups. So that is going to get underway right now. So for those of you that put your hand up, you can expect to be contacted because it's all about to happen to start getting your wild community plan. So a very, to me, a very exciting item there. We had a tremendous report from our infrastructure department about what they have been doing over recent months. And I refer to a couple of items in particular, which I think you will find of interest. We know the mowing of our streets and our open spaces is always a topic of discussion. And it is something council has been for a long time trying to balance how much time and effort goes in within the available budget. But if you go and check out that agenda and that report, you will see how Wyla is broken up into 38 zones. Everything is done to a plan. And in the last four months, all those zones have been mowed, mowed at least 51, of the, 51 times, or 51 zones. So that's really one and, all, one and a half almost times in the last four months. And that's done by three mowing crews that are on the job all the time. So there is a good turnover there. And just another little interesting fact, of course, we don't always have the rain we would like. 4,000 trees were watered during that quarter. And some other figures that I think I'm sure will interest you. Often people ask, how much money does council spend in Wyla? We definitely do focus on Wyla's economy. In the last quarter, there have been 862 purchase orders for goods, services, supplies. 566 of those were local. And if you look at the value there, the total amount was almost $6 million. Just over 3.6 million of that stayed in Wyla. It was spent with local suppliers. So council is very aware of supporting the local community. And I guess I'm probably running out of time as I usually do, but I also just wanted to mention that local government has changed drastically in the, the requirements put on it, the regulations by state and federal governments. A lot of policies, a lot of procedures, and the latest meeting was one where we had a range of policies and procedures which often don't interest the community, but it's something we have to read thoroughly and be aware of. And just an example, there was a policy, a draft policy on the interaction between council members and council employees to ensure that we are working to the best possible advantage of the city. We had a procurement and contract management policy review. There was the adoption of a behavioural support policy so that we can support everybody and address any behavioural issues that come up, whether it's within council or the community, but an important policy. There was the, we had to revise the supplementary elections policy, adopt a privacy policy, and a new one, a strategic management framework. All different sorts of policies and procedures that every local government goes through to ensure that we are doing the right thing by the community, and also ensuring everything is sustainable and above board. Every council goes through this, vastly different than 10, 20, 30 years ago but one of those things that's always been worked on behind the scenes. 
I know I've now gone over time, so we'll catch up next time after our next Wireless City Council meeting. Cheers.